Okay, in this second type of who is on my network problem, we're going to tackle what happens if we have multiple items um, that we need to choose from. If you look here, we have some uh, addresses with masks, and now in this case, these masks are in uh, the, the dotted decimal notation, which is okay, we can work with that. Um, and we've got to find out, it, it, what it says up here is we've got four addresses, two of them are on the same network. And what we have to do is we have to figure out which two of these addresses land in the same network. Now, if they're, if they're in the same network, they're, of course, going to have the same mask. And all of these ma uh, masks are the same, so we can't use that to determine which two are together. So we're going to have to do some work. What we're going to do first is we're going to kind of just guess at which two of these kind of look like they might be together. Um, 54 and 57 kind of seem like they're pretty close to each other. Um, 65 is pretty far away. It's possible that 61 and 65 could be together. Um, but 54, 57 look, look pretty good. Let's start with 57. Um, worst case, when you, when you do these types of problems, if, if you don't know, just pick one number and go with it. So let's start with 57 and let's see where that takes us. So let's go over here and do the work that we were doing before. This is very similar to the other problem we, uh, we did. So we start out with 206, 145, 48.57 is the number we're going to start with. And the mask is 255.255.255. .255. Dot 248. Now remember when we have all ones, when we have a 255, that's going to lock this portion of the address in. We're not going to worry about that for right now. We're going to concentrate on working with just this octet right here. By the way, this mask, if we were to write it in bit notation, would be 8 plus 8 plus 8, which is 24, plus we've got some other number of bits here. Let's write that out. Um, 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16. We know that half of an octet is 240, and if we add one more 8, that gets us to 248. So this would be 24 plus 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 is what that, ad what that mask would look like in bit notation. We don't really need that. It's not important for right now, um, but uh, just to help it's always good to remember um, and to, to exercise 248, all, all ones in three octets, 248 is a two, two, uh, slash 29. So here is the 248 that we just broke out into binary. Now what we need to do is we need to take our number 57 and break it out into binary. So let's do the math over here. We're going to start with 57. Um, I can't get 128 out of there, so let's make that a zero. And I can't get a 64 out of there. It's too big. But I can get a 32 out of there. So if I subtract 32, I end up with 25. So let's put a 1 in the 32 position. Can I get a 16 out of there? I sure can. Let's subtract 16, which is going to give us a 9. And let's turn on the 16 position. And after 16 would be the 8 position, and I for sure can get an 8 out of there, which is going to leave me one left. So let's turn on the 8. No 4s, no 2s, but I can for sure get a 1 out of there, um, which leaves me nothing left. When you're doing these um, decimal, to, uh, decimal numbers to binary conversions, if you end up with a remainder at the end, even after you get to the 1s, you did something wrong, go back and check again. Okay, so we've got our 57. Again, we're working with this octet right here. We're exploding it out into binary to work with it. Down here, when we get our answer, we know that our answer is going to start with 206, 145, 48 dot something. And this is where we are working on this octet right here. So we can draw our imaginary line right there between what's network and what is host. And if we do the anding, or the other thing is we just know that if we bring these, if we have ones in the network bits, we just bring the network bits down. So we're going to bring those down. And uh, the definition of the network address is we convert these to all zeros. And the definition of the broadcast address would be the network bits are the same, 
but the host bits are all ones. So let's do some conversions here. Uh, 128, 64, we don't have those turned on, but we do have 32 turned on, plus the 16 is turned on, plus the 8 is turned on. And if we add all those up, we are going to get 56. So this number right here is 56. That is our network address. And down here, we have our broadcast address. Now remember our shortcut. If we have 1111111, if we have contiguous ones on the right hand side, it's going to be one less than whatever position this is going to be. So that's 12864. If we have all ones over there, it's going to be one less than that position. So that would be 63. We could also take um, 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 and we could figure out that that is 56 as well. So our network address is 206.145.48.56. Our broadcast address is going to be 206.145.48.63. And our usable range will be everything in between, which would be the address right after network.57 through dot 62, the address right before 63. So let's go back over here. Let's see who's in our network. Well, guess what? 57 and 54 are actually not in the same like I had originally assumed. Um, the number 56 is the start of that subnet, and the last address is 63. So that puts this network right here, or I'm sorry, this address right here, and 61 in the same subnet. 40, or 54 is too low, and 65 is too high. So these would be the two right here that are in the same subnet. Um, if you missed totally, and if you went through all this work and you figured out that 57, um, nobody else is in the same network, um, hopefully you can, after you've kind of learned what's on the low side, what's on the high side, um, you can figure out which other two match or potentially you've now eliminated 57 as being by itself and you could go through this process for one of the other numbers um, and try to tackle that and figure out which one based on the other one um, is in the same network. If you notice working on the, the previous who's on the same network problem in this one that this process we go through is exactly the same as the process for finding a network address finding the broadcast, finding the range in the middle. So if you get really good at this, um, there should be no problem that you can't figure out.